Hi, Sam here with CAD Productivity. Welcome to Civil CAD Consultant's Express Tip on using event points to label stations and offsets in inroads. Event points can be used for several different things in inroads, one of which is labeling stations and offsets. In this example, I'm going to label the stations and offsets on a couple of points in my microstation file. First, I make sure I have the correct horizontal alignment active. Then I'll go to Geometry, Horizontal Curve Set, Events. In this case, the points that I want to annotate are fixed points, so I'll use the Add As Northing and Easting. I'll define a single point, and I'm going to use my Target button to select the point that I want to add. I'll add these one at a time, again using the target, and applying once the coordinate is filled in. I'll close here, and now to annotate the stations and offsets, I simply go to Geometry, View Geometry, Stationing. If I look at my Event Points leaf, notice the station and offset both toggled on. When I apply, the station and offset annotated along with this EVT. So first, I want to get rid of the EVT prefix. To do that, I'll go to File, Project Options, Abbreviations. Here you have all of the abbreviations for your geometry, so I will simply blank out the EVT. If I don't want the EVT ever again, then I can save the preference, or else I could simply apply, and the next time I opened inroads, it would revert back to the EVT. Since I've saved the preference, I'll apply, close, and now when I view the stationing, the EVT disappears. I'd also like to have a leader on the station offset, so I'm going to turn on the segment one of the leader, apply, and I have a leader with the station and offset annotated. Right now, the station and offset is annotated relative to the alignment. If I would prefer it to be horizontal, then I simply change relative to, to absolute and I'll set my angle to 90. When I apply, the annotation is placed horizontally. If I would like to keep this set up, then I need to be sure and save the preference in the View Stationing dialog. One of the really nice things about annotating stations and offsets with event points is that if something changes about your alignment which affects the stationing, all you have to do is restation to have the stations and offsets updated. In this case, I have the automatic stationing turned on, so if I make a change to the stationing, such as changing the starting station, and apply it, the stationing is automatically updated. If you're not familiar with the automatic stationing, you can visit civilcadconsultant.com and look at the July 2010 archive. Thanks for watching. If you're not on our email list, be sure to sign up at civilcadconsultant.com. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter.